What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jumpy the Gibbity here. Welcome to you back to the Saga Log. Welcome to this crazy episode. Um, I don't have to do a team recap, luckily, because our team did not change. So that's always a splendid, wonderful thing. Oh, my. Oh wait, that's right. I was going to be like, look at the take them fast. I should do that. And I'm like, wait, John, no, don't do that. Don't screw yourself over. That would be bad. But we are going to be leading with Taylor the Raichu. I think that that is the best choice that we got here. Um, but I definitely, 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 definitely want to, uh, move forward and, uh, level up my mods because my mods that I have to get to is level, uh, 20, 19.55. And, you know, we got a lot of stuff that we have and that we can take care of. So I don't see us having a problem getting level 20 before the next gym, but... It is a thing, so let's take care of... Oh my gosh, okay. Thank gosh that uh, Naruto the Fampy doesn't have that good of a special attack, because if it did, we would have just been crumbled to pieces. But its physical attack is so good that it's double, basically. It's... I right, know, quadruple, actually. So, yeah, I'm happy that we didn't die. Um... Thank God it was only a fan B and nothing too crazy. But, um, it, like I said, it could have been bad. And it's something that I just don't, I generally do not want to have to worry about. So, again, we're chilling. We are getting Sean some levels. We're then fighting a snubble afterwards. And, of course, that is some scariness. But it's it's what, it's what you got to do. It is Soglock. You just do you. You do you. And you have fun doing it. That's it. That's, that's, a, that's what you really should care about when you're doing stuff. Is having fun while doing it. Because if you're not having fun, then what's the point? And, I guess, we're all looking for a little fun and things to do. Um, and that's the whole point. You want to make a project. You want to have fun. You want, you, when you make a project, your goal is to have fun in the project. So, um, and that's what we're doing. We're having fun in the project. Uh, I'm going to stay in with, I'm going to keep it with Toronto because I think Toronto has a great chance of actually like providing some great stuff for us but i do gotta remember and keep in mind that there is stuff that i gotta pay attention to that's one of them it's the fact that our we're we're a good team that can do good things and we just gotta see See what we can do. So again, I I love this, uh, and I hope that everything is gonna go well. I think honestly that this can go in so many different ways. And I like I said, all I do and all I want is for a bunch of positive stuff. So now we're gonna head to Union Cave, and obviously Union Cave is. Woo! Which one is it? Which one is it? Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> I heard the special music and I was like, we're getting something good! And so, okay. It's a Ho-Oh. Uh, I knew it was either Ho-Oh or Lugia because of the way the music was prompted. So, I, I really don't know if I want to use the Master Ball on a Ho-Oh, though. I, I think I do. I, I get that that's kind of early to use a Master Ball, though. And that's kind of where I'm questioning that. It just feels so early. To use it. What's my stats like? Summary. I have... Okay, so Thundershock probably does less damage. Gosh! I straight... I have... See, the thing is, I straight up have a Master Ball at the ready that I can literally use right now. Like, I could use the Master Ball right now and everything would be okay. Everything would be fine. I catch a Ho-Oh, have it in the party, have it in the back for when Amon dies. Um... Knowing by the time that Amon dies and you guys kill Amon, that it shouldn't need to be even worried. 
Or I try a Thundershock, try and catch it for late. Ah! Because here's the thing. I know I have encounters coming up. But I also think that's a great reason to use the Master Ball. Yeah. No, I, I'm pretty decided. I'm, I'm going to use it. Because um, I don't think Ho-Oh has a higher catch rate or a very good catch rate. And like I said, I'd rather have security in knowing we got a Ho-Oh in the box ready for us to use. We don't have a fire type yet, nor a flying type. So that will really help in our team diversity. I'm going to name you... I'm naming you Gwen. We haven't named a Pokemon Gwen in a long time. And, or actually we did. It was a Wonder Guard, uh, it was a Wonder Guard Corsola. But, we haven't named something like this Gwen in a long time. And, Gwen deserves it. So, figure we'll give Gwen that Lugia. Or not Lugia, the Ho-Oh. Oh, my next encounter was a Malcomi. Let's freaking go. Oh, <laughs> holy shoot. That, wow. And it even had self-damaging. My gosh. That could have been so bad so fast. And I'm so glad it wasn't. Okay. Ooh, this is an area that I don't remember. I don't remember this area at all. Spinda, ew. Bye. I'll take that. That's a decent move. Dream Eater. Dream Eater. I, so I actually don't mind it. I actually think Dream Eater is one of the better moves in the game. Also, uh, before things break on us. Oh my God, Fiona too. I mean, I guess I can kill some of these things for the EXP, but I should because that gives you a lot. I should save. Before I before I lose out on uh, all of my stuff, I should say. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like that would happen. Okay, cool. <coughs> um, saving is honestly a power that I, yeah, like I said, need to utilize. But yeah, I'm so happy I got that. Okay, that, and another fossil. Um, one thing that's sad, and one thing I didn't realize in, uh, in thought processes and thinking about things, the helix, the fossils don't mean anything. I should just sell them because I cannot get the fossils at all. Like, I can't use them. So, what's the point in having them kind of a thing? I swear. If more things decide to thunderbolt the crap out of me, it's possible. It didn't. Because I got paralyzed. Okay, so I don't know if it would have, but it, it could have. Okay, I'm going to Thundershock it because I know that that won't kill. And, like I said, Taylor is one of the most important members of our party. He is going to be a hard carry for this episode. I right, sorry. Already had it planned out. I was already planning on using Taylor the way that I'm doing it right now. And, Taylor, you got to love me, buddy. Because if you don't, I'm going to be mad. Okay, Growlithe. That's an auto kill. See? And this is why I'm using Taylor. Because Taylor just kill, 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 kill. Now, Taylor is a bit of a paper-thin Pokemon, as you guys know, so I can't just over be overzealous, but it's me. I'm going to be overzealous and kill it. That's We all know that's going to happen, so be ready for it. Wormadam. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to switch out on this. That makes no sense for me to stay in. It's just on... It's just who... Wormadam? Why? Okay, why is this Pokemon actually legitimately a threat? Like, can we talk about that for a second? This Pokemon is technically... A legitimate threat to my team like no like excuse me um, this is not allowed for a Pokemon of this caliber to be a legitimate threat to the team but it is um, and you guys can't hear anything anymore because my this is why I am actually upset about the headphone situation because now you guys can't hear the game nothing is gonna be able to be heard nothing can be seen everything's a problem so um, what I'm going to do is this, properties, and hope that you guys can hear the game if I do this. Nope, you can't even. Because, like, in this quality of the game, it's, like, it's just unfortunate. So I gotta put filler music in. Which, again, I'm not complaining about the editing aspect of it. The ed editing aspect of it is not my worry. It's the fact that, well, 
unfortunately, stuff doesn't want to work. So, uh, I don't know who I sent in, though. There really is no good viable option. Because a bug move will hit Tarant hard. Sean is probably the most viable. Sean is probably the most viable, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. Honestly, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but it's level five, and I really shouldn't be worried about it. See, yeah. I should be. Some people think I complain a little too much, um, because they think that I'm worried about or over worried, but. Um, I did 10 damage, so of course I'm worried. I'm joking. I'm joking, of course. I even acknowledged I was being a little bit over worried. <laughs> I acknowledged it myself because I was like, eh, might as well be you might as well be careful, might as well not worry about it. It's fine. It's chill. It's chill. Toga Kiss, your favorite Pokemon? It's it's chill. Um on, oh, it's not my favorite Pokemon, obviously. You know what you guys have seen my favorite Pokemon eight hundred times. It's Gyarados. Um Honestly, you probably have seen it 800 times in a, in a literal sense. Like, I wonder how many times has it appeared on the channel? Li like, literally. Like, how many? Literally how many times? How many times do I have to say literally? Um, <laughs> that's the real question. Um, I'm going to heal. If I have healing items. Do I have healing items? Because I swear if I don't. No, I have, I have eight, which is so not enough for somebody who literally has, uh, like, ten grand in uh, his Pokemon bank account, but okay. Luckily, I can literally buy stuff really soon, but Venusaur, mm, that's another problematic Pokemon, but it's not as bad because it doesn't hit Toronto, so we'll go ahead and let... Uh, Tubby die. Bye, Tubby. Have a good one. Lava cookie. Yes. Yes. Give me that lava cookie. I need that lava cookie. I need it so much. Um, but. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to run into them. They're going to give me the, uh, yes. Okay, that's easy experience. Let's go. We love you. We stand easy experience. We oh, pfft. when they edit the game and change the layout. Oopsies, that's it's, it's so funny when they do that though, because you don't. It's usually you're not expecting it, and so you're sitting there like, okay, let's do this thing, and then they change it. And you're like, what? Excuse me, it was not there before. <laughs> the remake curse. Okay, it's raining on this route. Which is going to make these grow faster. I, I actually don't think that's how that works. Which is sad, because it should be how that works. But it doesn't. Um, but we're getting some Apricorns right... was something. The question is, do I check it out or not? I don't think that they... Hmm. No. I'm not going to check it out. It's okay. I... I think they it passed anyways. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. That was interesting. Um, for those that don't know, you guys might have seen it because it's dark outside now. Um, cop lights passed our uh, neighborhood. Uh, and it was two. So... That's a little scary. That's a little sketch doodle. But it's fine. Um, and let's get our encounter. I guess. Um, 
I should probably investigate because I'm the only one. But I know that the door is locked. Everything's fine. And if the door there was a knock on it and it was them, I would answer and be like, "Yeah, let me figure out what's going on." Like, obviously, that's what you should do. But uh, weird. Okay. Uh, but it, it, they definitely passed. It definitely went this direction, which my cul-de-sac is in this direction. So I know that's not what's going on. Wow. Um. Me explaining what how the cops work. Okay, this is not where I thought this video would go. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. I hate summer. Summer can suck my dick. And you know what? I killed them for a reason, okay? I definitely didn't just, like, kill... Oh my god. I'm killing encounters and I'm not paying attention. I mean, okay, y'all gotta give me that, though. I know you can't. You really can't give me that. Thud, 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 thud. Okay, maybe you need the cops call it on you. Um, okay. So I'm gonna save here. I wonder if it was like fireworks or something. Because they're banned in my area. Which, honestly... I don't know how I feel about it. I'm like, I actually don't really mind it. Because I can actually sleep on the 4th of July. That's one reason I uh, don't... I, I like, like, that we celebrate our independence and all that stuff, and, like, like, hey, you know, we got away from the EU in 1776, like, that, that's fine, but the overbearing fireworks and the overbearing things that, like, cause me to not be able to go to sleep, like, call me not patriotic, but it's just, that's not... It's not me. I don't. One, I don't like being in a big crowd of people. This is my perfect situation. Alone, as a house, able to record, not worry about anything, and actually, like, get, like, stuff off of my plate and off of my shoulders. Like, so, I don't know. It's just, it's a big thing, and it doesn't make sense to me. So now I believe we talk to Curtadoodle, which Curtadoodle is right here. For some reason, is Curdledoodle right there? Where's Curdledoodle in his house? Curdledoodle is in his house. He's gonna go save the slowpokes for us, and we're gonna get another apricot. Popcorn popping on the apricot. Fuck, why did it decide it wanted to crash? And I can't even save the game. Oh, this is why I love breaking heart gold and soul silver. Ba ba da ba da. See you in the next episode. Yep, because I really love this game. Bye, y'all. Sorry for the crash. So I didn't realize we actually saved actually super close to where we were. So let's just go ahead and finish this out. I think it makes the most sense. We totally can do what I wanted to do in this episode. But I was being a little bit of a butt nugget. And being like, oh my gosh, it like takes forever to get where we actually want to be. And it's just like, but John, it literally was two seconds of your time. Like, what are you talking about? And it's like, oh, I didn't realize that, so I'm sorry. But yeah, so that's, that's all. It was like, I was being stupid. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, because honestly, that's another thing that's been preventing me from doing this series too is just the annoyingness of the uh, progress feeling like it's taking so slow because it's I mean it is because we keep getting locked and crashes and stuff like that so it's like it's not wrong that it's taking longer but it's not what I thought it was I think uh, I was giving it more grief than it was so let's see what we can buy well first let's see what we can sell because I know I said these don't matter so I'll take my thousand dollars and run, um, because I can't, I can't not you, I can't utilize those. I can do that with my root fossil too. And honestly, I'm, I'm hard debating selling this. I'm not going to, partially because I just don't see the need to sell it. Um, I am gonna get some, uh, like. A few super potions, like five. I'm gonna use Aaron's rule of fives. I'm just basically what I'm trying to do is be cautious with how much I'm purchasing. 
so I can keep a high amount of money. Because I honestly, and I, I know I sit here and have like $4,800 um, and other like forms of currency, but no, I don't want to use that if I don't have to use that. So again, we're going to go ahead and go into the well, have a good time, have a good, great laugh. And of course, because we're going into the well, I am going to save, be cautious. Cautiousness is not a bad thing. Because as well, I remember being glitchy. Hi, Kurt. I can't move. I fell down the well. Well, then go down the ladder. Then you don't fall down the well and uh, everything's okay. Okay. Oh, we got our encounter first. Okay, our encounter is going to be a Caterpie. I don't mind that. I can just use my Quick Ball on it. That way I save my Pokeballs and we're okay. Nice! I'm gonna name you. I'm naming you. Boppy. Boppy the Butterfree. Honestly, I love it. Boppy. Boppy the Butterfree. I mean, it's going to be Butterfree, let's be honest. I, it's gonna be used probably at some point. Um. We're challenged with my Team Rocket Gun. Run. They have a Gallade, which of course we don't have anything for Gallade right now, which is still sketchified. Tauros. I don't know how to feel. Tauros always makes me not know how to feel. And that's the scary part about Tauros. It's like, it's it's a, oh, it endures. Okay. It can't endure into a counter though. So I'm just going to return and kill it. Luckily, I was like, wait, it can't do this thing. This thing that I would find deadly. Oh my gosh, there's Wurmples too. I swear I'm going to get a shiny at some point. We are yet to have one. So we deserve one. A zap plate. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for giving me an item that I know I'm who, who I'm using it on, at least. Give to our boy Taylor. Increase that attack on Taylor. Bum, Okay, the slow Poketin Hails is... Got a Lugia! I mean, that's a perfect part thing to use my Zap Plated th Thunderbolt on. And then a Wismer. Which, honestly, I don't care about Wismer. I will hit the Crab Hammer, kill that, and murder that. So, I mean, it's a lot of just, like, quick murders. Which, I mean, it's fine, right? It's what is the, it's what this game does. The quick murder ends. But, like, at some point, I'm going to run into a shiny, and it's going to happen. We got a power belt, which I don't think will do us any good. Squirtle. It's a joy. Bye. Gulpin. Gulpin, I'll switch on. You know what? Gulpin, I'll let Tarant handle. And hopefully get Tarant to level 17. Combi. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tarant gets to level 17. Even though it's just a puny Combi, Tarant gets the level. And, of course... We're going to go ahead and get Tarant in the front of the party because we're going to let Tarant take out this boy. Proton. What do we have here? I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Sim Rockets. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. Oh, Proton. I would love to say that I care about your business, but I really don't. And that's the amazing part about it. Is I'm just gonna rock slide the crap out of your mill tank. It does nothing to harm me. And then you got a shift tree, which will actually harm me if I actually am a little bit of blood. Shift tree is actually a pain in the butt. Okay. How do I handle a shift tree? I think I handled it the same way I have to handle Wormadam with Sean, but this is gonna be a level 18 shift tree, I think. Four, oh, it's 14. Okay, level 14 on level 14. Well, we're gonna cross poison. Oh my gosh. I forgot that actually works. Oh no. Spore Swords Dance. I have no way to roar this thing out. Ah, it's plus four. Mm. Shifter is a big problem. Try 
charge beam. That does nothing. That does nothing. That will do nothing. That will do nothing. That will do nothing. Please kill. Please kill. 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 That does not a thing. And you're gonna spore again. Um. Oh no, you're you're prioritizing attacking me now. You got the special attack buff. Crit, please. Sean, no. Sean, please. Kill this thing now. You're a little baby, but I know you can do this, Sean. This gets you a level up. Yeah! I don't think it gets you a level up, but I hope it does. Yeah, it does. Yes. Sean! Almost two, almost two level ups on that. Um, huh. Team Rugged indeed was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem to our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. Ah, I advise you to actually do your job. We obtained a fastball. Oh, this is a much easier way to do the apricorns. They improve this. Yes, give me Kurt's number, because Kurt is a lovely, jolly old fellow that we do love and appreciate. So, now that we actually finished our objective and we're 20 minutes in, or 25 minutes in, we will see you guys in the next episode. We're going to be taking on Azalea Town. Let me know what you guys think uh, is going to be in the Azalea Town gym. Bye.